It's been a busy week at the International Telecommunication Union in Geneva. This has been the scene of the 2014 WSIS Plus 10 high-level event. The high-level track has been a resounding success, with the approval of two important documents that will frame the future development of the process. The issue we're dealing with are technical issues, and this is why we're able to reach this kind of uh, common agreement without ideological fights, without uh, political fights, and that's the true spirit of ITU. So I'm really, really very pleased with the results. We've been able to put a, a roadmap for the future. We've agreed on some of the key issues that were normally would be divisive in other camps, and people can be emotional about them. And, but we need to dis debate those issues with a real uh, belief in what we want to achieve together, have cross-fertilization of minds, of positions. From friction comes light most of the time, and uh, we've been able to prove that again. Uh, we've been able to find common denominators. You know, we humans have so many things in common. We tend to fight sometimes over li our little differences. But when you sit around the, around the table, we're able to cut some really good deals. And I think everybody is going out of this forum uh, equally happy. The forum track has once again demonstrated the effectiveness of WISIS in bringing together multiple stakeholders from the private sector, international bodies and civil society. Next year marks the 10th anniversary of the Tunis Declaration and the various participants will have to decide what form their future collaboration will take. We need to, to speak about uh, developmental aspect of use of ICTs, but equally we need uh, to speak about uh, freedom of expression because we, we certainly see that uh, with the evolution of technology there is increasing attempts to uh, impose uh, limitations uh, to, uh, to the free flow of information and, and freedom of expression online. Information technology is changing rapidly and this is the technology that uh, all the governments and all the people and private sectors are involved in. My desire is uh, somehow uh, we should have uh, some, kind, some kind of the regulation and policy that uh, everybody and all countries enjoying this technology. I think that the conference has really to be an integrative moment. So a moment where uh, all these uh, new challenges uh, related to technologies, but also related to information society as such. I'm thinking, for instance, of the internet uh, challenge. Uh, all these questions have to be integrated in a single approach. And we have to be able uh, to develop an agenda which will allow us for the future uh, to uh, uh, really uh, develop um, something making a lot of sense for uh, the worldwide community. For me it's important to have um, a good view of what has been achieved, a clear view, but more importantly uh, already a plan to continue because I'm pretty sure that we haven't achieved everything that we wanted to achieve. Um, so therefore it's very important to, to have a good plan of action, concrete proposals to continue in the next 10 years to make sure that even if we haven't managed 2015, we will manage in the next 5 to 10 years to accomplish what we wanted to do. <laughs> Okay. <laughs>
Yaroslav Ponder is one of the senior organizers of this event and of course next year you're going to be there. What can we look forward to then? Yes, next year is very particular because this is the year of the sustainable development goals. This is the year of uh, the overall review and that's why we are hoping to welcome uh, all stakeholders here in Geneva and to uh, find the commitment towards the reinforce the implementations that are achieving uh, the goals and the targets uh, for the vision beyond 2015. Thank you very much. We hope you'll join us again for next year's event. And in the meantime, don't forget you can keep up to date with the ITU's activities by subscribing to the YouTube channel.